Hey, Kasane, you free right now? I guess so. What is it this time? You remember my promise from before, right? A fun and exciting date with your one and only Daddy Kagero. You're not my father, and I'm not interested in a date. What? You told me the last one was super boring. You shattered my fragile heart into itty bitty pieces. You're still bothered by that? Fine, I'll say it was fun. No, no, that's not what I mean. I want to make up for it. Besides, you know how I hid my past? I wanted to apologize for that. So this is like a second chance coupled with an apology. The apology is fine, but I don't know why it has to be with a date. It's like my dream, I guess? Just say yes, please. Let me show you a good time you won't forget. So, how was it? The dining experience at Baki's Cafe is supposed to be very popular with high school girls. I think Naomi and Yuito would have enjoyed it more, but it was fun. No complaints here. Next up is dessert. I'll get you anything you want. Cake? Parfait, maybe? I'm fine with just tea. <laughs> I figured you'd say that. Already got a cup. Wait, when did you... Oh, you used your invisibility power. That's an interesting use for it. You can't just reveal my secret like that. Even if you know how it's done, it's more fun when you pretend you don't. Like this. I grew this flower from a seed. The flower symbolizes hidden kindness. A perfect match for you. So, what do you think so far? Well, you seem to be following the standard dating norms I read in magazines, but they all have a nice Kagero twist. However, something's bothering me. You've gone through a lot of effort just to make up for lying. You're either really perceptive or overly distrusting. But yeah, I guess it's time I tell you. The truth is, I tried to assassinate you back in the day, so that's kind of included in this apology. Assassinate? Hmm. From the looks of it, you haven't realized it at all. Guess that means I still got it. Fortunately, I didn't have to go through with it, but I was waiting for the right opportunity. Like trying to be alone with you. As the one you were targeting, I believe I have a right to know why. It was to stop Togetsu's plan. Their plan hinged on your power, so I thought that killing you might be the best option left for me. Of course, now that you've decided not to support them, I've got no reason to hurt you. You can trust me on that. Well, I don't doubt that, but I'm still not satisfied. What, really? I guess this wouldn't be enough to make up for trying to kill you. I could do something even... It's not that. It's just... killing someone. Is it that easy for you to do? I don't understand how you could make that decision so easily. Even if it is to achieve your goal. There's no way I could do that. I see what you're saying. That makes sense. I mean, it's not like I don't value life or anything like that. But yeah, if I seem cynical about it, it's probably because I don't feel like I'm very... alive, I guess you could say. I'm like a ghost from the past, existing in a time when his family and everyone he knew is long gone. Your family? You mentioned you left them on the moon. Yeah, I had a wife and daughter. My daughter was simply the cutest. You'd be surprised she was related to me. She didn't have a bad bone in her body. I loved her dearly and she meant so much to me. But in the end, I couldn't do anything for her as a father. What's even more sad is that I've got no idea what kind of person she grew up to be. I mean, really, could I be a worse father? That's why, at the very least, I want to protect the life she lived. I'll do whatever it takes. Even if it means turning against my homeland. I might even kill if it comes down to it. <sighs> How about we leave this off here? I think you've heard enough. All right. So, what did you think of Daddy Kagero's date? Pretty awesome, right? Yes, I would say it was worthwhile. I think I learned a little about who you are. 
Ah, you finally realized what a wonderful, charming person I am. Oh, I'm such a heartbreaker. Although, I still don't know how serious you are because you always joke around. You know, I don't really know either. Huh? Just kidding. Sorry to make you help me fulfill my dreams today. See you later. I wonder what he meant by that. I feel like I got to know him a little better. But trying to understand other people isn't that easy. I've been in the OSF a long time, and a rookie as good as you is a rare thing. You mean a rookie who's easy to give your work to? I can't just give my work to anyone. I chose you because I know you can handle it. Also, because I trust you personally, even outside of work. So, I'll trust you to keep working as an extension of myself. Discovering more and more of your good qualities. I am? Well, I guess getting to know someone isn't a bad thing. Kasane, do you remember when I said I wanted you to help me with a job? For payment of the rations that you treated me to. Yeah, I'm going to cash that in now. Don't worry, the job will be worth your time. What are all these? Looks like empty bottles, junk parts, candy wrappers... And they're all mixed together. Exactly. I need you to sort them. Why do you have so much? I kinda got lazy and didn't get around to cleaning them up. Oh, yeah, take care of this trash bag for me, too. Don't throw it. You got trash everywhere again. Hmm? Huh? Now what could this be? You don't see that many handwritten letters anymore. How interesting. Oh, that. You can throw that out too. But it's unopened. Let's see. It's from Major General Fubuki. What if it's important? Are you sure you don't want to check it? Then he would have messaged me instead of using this archaic method. If you're that curious, be my guest and read it. Don't mind if I do. You didn't even hesitate. So, anything surprising? No. Basically, he's filling you in on what he's been up to. Also, he says not to drink too much soda. I thought so. He sends me letters filled with stuff that doesn't matter. I don't get it at all. I would reply to a message, but a letter? Just opening it is a pain. If he's going through the trouble of handwriting a letter, don't you think it means there's something special he's trying to get across? If that's the case, then you should really cherish these. You never know what could happen to us next. Look, it's not that I don't understand what you're saying, but these letters have been piling up, and just finding a place to keep them is a pain. Besides, just getting the letter lets me know that he's doing okay. So you can throw this in the trash. Fubuki and I aren't like you sisters. You're awfully stubborn. Exactly. You're a perceptive one. She's so very different from me and Naomi. Especially how little she seems to care about her brother. Still... Arashi, remember the Major General Fubuki you saw in the future? Yeah, what about him? You were angry, weren't you? I mean, you saw it with your own eyes. You keep saying that you're not those kinds of siblings, but it doesn't feel that way to me. So why... I mean, of course I'd get mad if he died. I feel like human emotion is a strange mechanism. Really? More importantly, Kasane, I don't see your hands sorting through the trash. Huh? That was a good distraction, but you're not getting out of your work. I wasn't trying to get out of it. I'm not like you. Great. Then good luck here. I'll 
be busy skipping out on my own work. Have fun. Looks like she dodged my question. I'm sorry to bother you about this, Kasane. It's fine. I wanted to talk to you too, to apologize. Why? I'm the one who should say sorry. You don't have any reason to apologize to me. I just dumped all my feelings on you without any regard for yours. If I'm being honest, I still don't think I completely understand how you feel right now. However, after everything I've experienced lately, I think I can imagine it a little. Did something happen? You really felt like you wanted to die? Not me, Naomi. She said that she didn't want to live anymore. She didn't want to live as an other, her sanity being maintained with medicine made of human brains. She said that? I didn't understand her at the time. I wanted her to live no matter what it meant, but now I partly understand where she's coming from. That feeling that makes you want to run away from life when things are so incredibly hard and painful. If that's what you were feeling, then I realized I didn't have any right to complain to you. Thank you for understanding. Let me just say it again. I shouldn't have unloaded my feelings of self-pity on you. I'm old enough to know better. So I brought you something as a token of apology. Is that a packed lunch? Yeah, they're all from the recipes Naomi gave me. I don't know if you're hungry or not, but maybe you'd be willing to give him a taste. Thank you. I wanted to taste what her recipes were like. This is stir-fried mackerel and green peppers. This is vegetable namol, and that's shredded meat. Wow, you really went all out. I'm still learning, so I've burnt some of them. It may not look appetizing, but it should still be edible. I'll take this then. Not bad. It does remind me of my sister's cooking a little. Really? Yes. It doesn't even come close to the real thing, though. I see. But getting you to say that it reminds you of it is still an accomplishment. It's fairly good and a little familiar. It must have taken you a while to make all of this. It wasn't a big deal. Cooking helps calm me. It's perfect for self-reflection. You think so? Yes. Although I used to think it was a waste of time. I thought about what you said while I cooked. Which part? I think I said a lot the last time we talked. About how I wanted to roll over and die, and how that was selfish. It really hit me hard, thinking how much Naomi wants to live in her original body, and about how much all my friends who died in battle would have wanted to live. It made me realize that wasting whatever life I have left was disrespecting their memory. Part of me thinks you're taking it a little too seriously, but I'm glad I got through to you. I might be too serious. But I plan to live the rest of my life to its fullest. How? First thing is to get back to eating healthy with Naomi's recipes. I also want to reevaluate the way I spend my weekends. Maybe find a new hobby besides cooking. Sounds like a good idea. And I'm sure your cooking will get better with practice. Then I guess I'll keep at it. Would you mind tasting more of my food sometime? Of course. Thanks. I still have trouble figuring out what's good or bad since I've never been concerned about how my cooking tasted before. You seem like you're enjoying it. I am, although it stresses me out while I'm doing it. Well, maybe I enjoy that part too. He looks so alive. Maybe he started to feel more positive about his life.
Sorry to keep you waiting. You said you wanted to talk to me about something? Oh, Kasane. Oh. What is it? N nothing But you just look like you noticed something. Did you see something with your clairvoyance? <sighs> well, I won't pry if it's uncomfortable for you to share. Um... Yes? Your left knee. My left knee? You may not have noticed, but there's a bruise. You might have hit it during a fight. Oh, now that you mention it, I did hit it in my last fight. I think you should get that treated. The bone isn't hurt, but it might leave a mark. Good idea. I'll get it looked at when I get back to the hideout. I'm surprised you noticed. I had a feeling you were subconsciously favoring your left leg when you were walking over here. I was worried, so I couldn't help but use my power. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Why are you apologizing? I should be thanking you for telling me about my injury. Because I violated your privacy by looking under your clothes. It's not good to use my power without permission like that. Ah, I see. That's why you felt uncomfortable telling me. I suppose that would be the general consensus. Some things are off limits. I'm not a child anymore, but I'm still doing the same stuff as back then. Did something happen when you were younger? Yes. I didn't realize back then that what I can see isn't something I necessarily should see. When I told people what I saw, they would get uncomfortable and sometimes get scared of me. I finally realized that I shouldn't be doing things like that, that looking underneath someone's clothes or inside their home was bad. Is it really so bad? What? I mean... Nobody wants to have their secrets revealed. You wouldn't like that, would you? To be honest, that wouldn't really bother me. Really? Yeah, I don't have any secrets. People can look all they want. Are you saying you can see inside people's bodies too? Yes. It can be a little revolting if you're not used to it. Then not only can you see injuries, you can detect internal diseases early as well. That means your power can save lives. It's fascinating. There really aren't many that can do that. I think it's a wonderful power. Uh, you're the first person other than Kagura to say that. That's surprising. I thought the OSF would evaluate your effectiveness quite highly. They tell me it's effective in battle, but my power hasn't often been noted for its everyday uses. I've been mindful in trying to avoid seeing things, or not talk about it if I do see something. It's a strange feeling being told I can look. It does take a weight off my shoulders, though. Well, that's good. Yes. Thanks, Kasane. Thank you for finding my injury. By the way, didn't you have something you wanted to discuss? Oh. We can talk about that some other time. Really? I still have time now. It's okay, really. I'll talk to you about it the next time I see you. Sure. See you then. She seems to have a lot on her mind. I can't help but be a little concerned. Next time I see her, I need to make sure we talk. Time to get a little rest. I think we're all rested up. Yeah, we can't exactly take our time on this one. Togetsu could have sent people after you too. Be careful out there. I'll do what I can on my end to support you. Man, Haruka, you're great. I thought Yuito Platoon's Wataru was pretty good, but hey, you're not so bad yourself. 
Gotta hand it to our twins for all their support, right? Love ya! It would have been the perfect compliment if you didn't mention my brother, but thank you. Uh, do you have no shame? What? Aren't you ashamed that you just can't pay anyone a compliment? If anyone should feel ashamed, it's you. Kyoka, Arashi, let's go. It seems like Kagero and Shiden want to mess around. Well, you heard her, Shiden. Want to mess around then? So what will it be? A fist fight? Power battle? A youngin' like you won't best me. Shut up! Don't make me part of your antics! Anyway, if we're going to talk to Seiron, where should we start? I suppose we should think about that before we head there. Yeah, we don't have any connections with the Seiron government. What about your influence with the press, Arashi? I'm good at using them to promote an image. But getting them to do what I want, when I want, is a different story. Moreover, we're talking about politics here. Getting people to believe us is not going to be an easy task. This is the type of information that would be better spread among the people as a rumor, than inform them once enough interest builds. An impressive analysis from a former spy. I... I know that's a compliment, but I'm not sure how I feel about it. Hmm? Hey, let's get back on topic. What about that official from before? The guy who asked us to assassinate Yuito? Hmm... We had that disagreement over Naomi. I doubt he'd be willing to hear us out after that. Karin might be able to get through to the Seiron government. Right, Major General Karin. It does seem like he could. He left in a hurry when we last saw him at the facility where they were keeping Naomi. I wonder where he is now. Wait! Something is happening at the Supernatural Life Research Facility! Good thing we decided to monitor it. They're starting to transport the other weapons! Transport? What do you mean? Their destination is Mizuhagawa. Naomi is included. What are they planning on doing with her? Probably nothing good, considering all the trouble they're going through. Did they leave some kind of plan behind? They need some reason to be doing this. Wait, it's mostly been redacted, but I found one. Oh, they have the name of the person in charge. No, it can't be! Tell us who it is already. The one trying to take the other weapons? It's Major General Fubuki! Fubuki? Why? There was always a possibility that he was somehow involved, considering the research facility is operated by Spring Pharmaceuticals. I'm just wondering about Major General Karin and whether or not he's involved. Because if he is... I don't care about the reason right now. We can ask them when we get there. You're absolutely right. But either way, we still have to go rescue Naomi. Yeah. Should be easy to talk if Ibuki's in charge. I can't imagine they have enough people with the transfer power to carry all the other weapons at once. Even with the shuttling, they will have to take breaks between transfers. We should still have time to make it. We should hurry before it's too late. What is Major General Fubuki doing in Mizuhagawa? Maybe moving the other weapons to Suo. If so, Naomi and the rest might not be safe. We have to get my sister back. Let's move! Your water attack. Are you okay? Being wet makes it hard to move. 
left. Use my power, Kasane. Keep your guard up. I'll support you. <laughs> it was thanks to my power. It dropped something rare. Help me, Kagura. Let's go, Kyoka. Okay, the enemy has lost us. It's over. The shell is broken. Attack now. Leave it to me. Are you okay? Yes, Kyoka. Thanks to you. She's hypervelocity. I'm taking this. Show me what you got. It's working. Got it. It's over. Focus on that spot. Kyoka's duplication should be useful. I'm rooting for you. Watch your head! I'm off! Missing this, Shiden! Kasane, the enemy is stunned and can't move!
I can see Naomi, and it looks like more human-born others. So they can actually control others. That's Kodama Platoon. Are they transporting them to Suo? What do you want to do? You want to try contacting Major General Fubuki through Brain Talk? We don't have time for that. We're going to get right in their faces. Arashi, can I leave the negotiation with the Major General to you? I think that's best. I should be the one to do it. Just be ready to fight if things go south. I'm ready. I think we all are. Okay, let's go. Fubuki, Kodama, what are you doing? Ah! What are you doing here? Kasane? Arashi? Kodama, I need you to stand down. You got it, Master Fubuki. Okay, guys, you'd better not try to pull a fast one, or I'm gonna get mad. What are you doing here? More importantly, why did you side with Karin? It's left Suo in a mess. If you tell me that Karin tricked all of you, I can talk to the higher-ups in New Himuka on your behalf. Thanks for the generous offer, but we've got some questions for you first. These others you're transporting, do you know what they are? Of course I do. They're weaponized, human-born others. So what exactly are you planning on doing with them? I've received information that Karin is gathering people with powers in Mizuhagawa. According to my investigation, he's planning on joining forces with Togetsu, taking with him technology he stole from Suo and Seiron. I want to stop him. I see. So you needed extra help in the fight against Karin and thought to use the other weapons to get the upper hand. Yes. Even he should be reluctant to attack human-born others. If it should come to a fight, as long as we have these other weapons... Arashi! What are you... Kodama? Did we just get duped? Hold on, why are there two Kodamas? Take this! Ugh, missed. Harashi's hypervelocity is annoying. Looks like the cat's out of the bag. Is she using duplication? No, she's not. And I don't sense anything close to my power. She's real. Who in their right mind freaking attacks their younger brother with a chainsaw without hesitation? I didn't hesitate because there's no way Fubuki would use human-born others to attack Karin. Not if she is among the others here. He would never consider using the other weapons in an actual fight. Maybe Fubuki was only following someone's orders after being subjected to a personality rehabilitation. Then it would have been my duty as his sister to stop him at any cost. Even if it means cutting him down. What a scary sister. <sighs> I thought I did a pretty good job. Great. This is why it's a pain when someone they're close to shows up. I don't care about your issues. Who are you? Are you design children from Togetsu too? Design what now? We're Suo kids, born and raised. I guess there's no sense in hiding it at this point, since you know there's two of us already. I'm Yuta Malone, Kodama's older twin sister. I'd say nice to meet you, but we've already met each other a few times now. You're twins? Something felt off when Seiron's transport team was attacked. It's because that Kodama we saw was actually Yuta. Exactly. Wasn't my transformation power amazing? Normally, I'd hate showing myself. But how could I not when it means getting to see my hero, Kasane? What? Hero? Oh, just remembering how you crushed Kodama like a bug <laughs> sends a shiver down my spine. Cut that out! You sound like a total creep! And stop acting like you were there! You're always ordering me around from behind the scenes! I like being valued by the new Himuka government, but I'm the one who's always getting stuck with the annoying work! Stupid Kodama! Stop blabbing everything to them! So you're working for new Himuka. Are you planning on using Naomi and the other weapons for a war? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? 
Unfortunately, now that you learned our secret, we're going to have to kill you. Sorry, but this is the end of the road for you! I'll never let you use Naomi. You're the ones who are about to be ended! I get to play with my hero, Kasane. Show me what you got. I thought something was fishy about her, so that's who she really is. Hey, don't let me in with her. I'm not a creep like you, though. Too slow. We'll corner it. Go ahead and use my power, Kasane. This is good. It's annoying. Let's go, Yuta! Cry for me, will you? No escape! <laughs> Not yet! Yuta's attack changed! Yuta transformed into Kodama! I see, so that's how these sisters fight. I'll support you! from Kasane's attacks. Not another word. I hate that we're related. We've got you now. Give up. <laughs> I just got a good idea. 
You said Naomi is in there. Seems like a good opportunity to try out the other weapons. Whoa, Yuta. That's messed up. No, don't! It's showtime! So they really do obey your commands. Whoever came up with this is sick in the head. Naomi! Oh, is this what they call overkill? I wanted to take Kasane home with me and make her my pet. Naomi, can you hear me? It's me, Kasane! Kasane... What? What is this attack? Suo reinforcements? No, it's... To get to. It's a design children army. Damn it, they came after Kasane. Who are those guys? They just straight up ruined my plan! Well, I'm not getting caught in the middle of this. It sucks to lose the other weapons, but hey, their survival didn't really matter to the plan anyway. Looks like they're after you guys. Have fun now! Show them a good time for us. Until we meet again, Kasane, we'll be sure to have lots of fun together next time. They just teleported out. I still had a lot of questions for them. These guys really don't hold back. Their tactics only work because they're using disposable design children. I can't get through to any of them. They've shut off all the connections I used in Togetsu. Guess they're not interested in talking. Do we have an escape plan? I'm looking, but I've got nothing. There's no way out of this unless you can teleport out of there. What are you saying? Everything's okay. Naomi? I finally understand why I was turned into this other. It was to protect you. What are you talking about? I'll draw them away. You can't take them on all alone, even if you are another. I'm not alone. Everyone said they would help, too. Don't, Naomi. You can't. I'll find another way out. I'm sorry. You always had to take care of me. Let me be your big sister this one last time. We need to get to safety. She would want us to survive. Okay, let's go. Looks like we made it. Naomi and the others. Naomi! 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 Wait! Yo, 
me. Naomi. Oh no. Naomi. You can't die. I need you. Hey. When you become such a crybaby. <gasps> Hello, Kasane. Naomi? You're alive! Thank goodness! You came back for me, Kasane. Even though... it put you all in such danger. I'm glad... you're okay. I couldn't... bear if something happened to you. Naomi... your injuries... Are you in pain? No. I don't feel them. They can't... hurt me anymore. <sighs> Becoming this monstrous thing. Using drugs made of human brains if I wanted to keep being myself. It was so... Awful. I wanted to die. But I'm glad I was alive today. I'm so glad. Hold on, Naomi. What are you saying? I was here to perform one final act of humanity. They made me this. They couldn't take away my soul. Thank you, Kasane, my sister. Live a long life for both of us. Leave me. No. Where have you been, Karin? Alice... I failed... again! <laughs> Major General Karin? I have to use this again. What are you talking about? They killed my sister! Why did she have to die to protect me? Why did this have to happen to her? Silence. We can use the red strings. <laughs> Karin, are you eating her power? <gasps> this happened before. I'll try again, as many times as it takes. Yuito, where is he right now? He's gone. He must have teleported. Did he just say Yuito? You're right. That was his brain eater. He just copied my red strings. Yes, but he didn't appear to use it. Since Major General Karin is not a red strings user like Kasane, he might need some sort of condition to activate the power. Could that condition be Yuito? If we take the connection between time travel and the Kunad Gate into account, Karin is trying to get his hands on the power that opened the Kunad Gate. But why is he trying to travel through time? Alice was definitely one of those among the others. Is he intending to go back and... Who the heck is Alice? I don't care about what Karin wants. 
If he uses the red strings, it might have adverse effects on the Kunad Gate. <laughs> Don't try to push yourself. His Brain Eater power taxes your brain heavily. If that's true, then what about Yuito? Didn't they say his brain was already messed up or something? Yuito might not be able to withstand the Brain Eater. All the more reason to stop Karin. We'll need to contact him. Yuito Platoon is currently within Arahabaki's secure site and isolated from the network. Arahabaki? Really? Yes. After what Major General Karin said, I managed to get Wataru to tell me Yuito's location. Oh, you might already know this, but Wataru is my brother. He's Yuito Platoon's operator. He's concerned because he lost contact with them too. He wasn't sure if his telepathy was reaching them. Okay, thank you. Arahabaki is in Suo. It looks like that's where we're going. Great. Not only Togetsu, but now we have Major General Karin to add to the list of people trying to mess with the Red Strings. Are you alright, Kasane? It sounds like Yuito is in danger. I know you're worried about him too, Naomi. That's why I'm going to go save him. It still doesn't feel real to me. How could you be gone? I'm sorry. I couldn't save you. Thank you. Thank you for protecting me until the very end. Yes, I'm fine. Let's go. me. Who is this Alice? She's Fubuki and Karin's childhood friend. And Fubuki's fiance. But she became an other a long time ago. That's why she was in the same lab as Naomi.